Okay, we need to have a little sidebar here and understand the concept of um, creating things in perspective and receding to a um, vanishing point. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just get rid of the grid for a second and back to brush really quickly. And what kind of brush am I using? I just want to use the hard edge. Here we go. Okay, so this will be my horizon line. And uh, let's get this out. Let's say this is my vanishing point. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just make a wall on the left side, or let's just pretend for a minute that from here to there, I have a bunch of squares, okay? And the concept for this, to, just to watch, to see <laughs> the square recede in perspective, we need to know how to do a few things, okay? So let's say this is my uh, piece right here, and I've divided in four, and and this is the center of it. What I need to do is connect here to roughly there diagonally. And where that clicks, that becomes the next square. See where it connects from here to there? So if I go from this point to here, somewhere down here, boom, that's the next one. So this is how you do tiles, this is how you do columns of a colonnade, and so on. Okay, so let's check this out. Wherever it connects, you just go straight up, okay? So what you're doing is connecting A to B and going and you shoot across that until you see where that connects. Okay, so this is the concept. Again, remember guys, when we started drawing in my class, I always showed you how to break down a square, right? So again, I'm just gonna boom, do this really rough, coming down here, something like that. And this is my division. So the idea is these squares, you can't just guess and go, yeah, I think it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Ideally, when you're doing that in perspective, yes, you are correct, it does get smaller. But how do you know that what you're creating is really accurate? Okay, so you get the center, top edge, to the center edge, going to the vanishing point. This is very critical line here. So let me just make that in red quickly here. And so you see that your vanishing point is very important. So wherever this line goes, basically, is what you're doing. Just take a lasso tool quickly here. Just delete all this. Okay, double click. Oh my goodness, today. Boom. Sure, Command D. There we go. So, for me to work on my tiles, I need to understand this concept, okay, of foreshortening objects, okay? So, just like you guys know, if I just, um, let's say you're uh, on a highway and you're looking down, and it's going to make a pillar or light post here, and you know the next one. recedes and it gets closer and closer as you go okay so that's the idea but again what we're trying to do here is trying to make it as accurate as possible okay this is a guess okay so clearly yes this works that way that works that way but again it's not perfectly accurate okay this is a good guess however the one on the left here is the one you want to work with you don't want to work with that one okay you want to work this approach so having said that let me just fly through this quickly now Again, um, the floor in our classroom, they're two by two tiles. So here I go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, right? So what I'll do at this point, I'll bring, uh, where's my mouse? Here we go. I'll bring the uh, line tool. And what you're going to do simply, let me just change just a few shots of solid fire engine red. So what we're going to do is click here once and try to match that point out. Okay, boom, there. Come this way, click again. Try to connect, intersect this piece and go beyond it. That's why drawing in perspective, ideally you want to start on paper because you have a ruler, very flexible. You go from there, okay? So one more time, shoot it right there. So, okay, this is cool. This is nicely divided. We know 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's awesome. However, we also know that to break a square, you have to go diagonally, right? So watch this. I'm going to hold the mouse and come this way, okay? This is cool. So what? this is the breakdown, right? I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm just going to zoom in here for you guys. Wherever this diagonal line connects to, and press B for brush, uh, put a new layer on above these guys. Wherever they intersect, that's roughly your 2x2 two two floor. And you'll get what I mean in a second, okay? So check this out. So keeping those points in mind, right? I'm going to click once, hold shift, and go across. So right now, just a horizontal line, that's all it is. But you'll notice that we're going to get closer to the wall. It's going to get tighter, and it's foreshortening. Okay, and I'm really drawing thick here, guys. 
Okay, so that's awesome. To me, this becomes now my, oops, let's get out of this for a second. For example, now if this was my interior right now, so I'm just going to come in here quickly, hold shift with the mouse one more time. You'll get what's happening. What I'll do is I'll quickly um, color a couple of these in so you'll get your checker tile basically. Okay? Just clicking, holding shift, letting go. Going back, holding shift, and letting go. Okay? So I'll just do one back here as well and one over here. Okay? There's that. So if you can see, these are proportional. They're ideally two by two. Okay, so let me just pick a different color right now and uh, come down here, zoom in, and I'll take my uh, lasso tool for example, click one, four clicks, then press G, bring that paint bucket in, Command D, step out, back to lasso tool, come over here, you get what I'm doing, right? Okay, something's not working. It's okay. We'll just hold Option. Come on. Really? <laughs> Command Z, Command D. That's what happens when you use a Cintiq. Photoshop sometimes um, and record all these things in one shot don't work well together. That's okay. So let's do this. Okay, it's done. G again. Boom. You get what's going on here. Okay. Now, um, in terms of the ceiling tile here in our classroom, they're two by four, right? So we're just going to go back to brush and press I for the eyedropper and take that red, B again, make sure. So we know they're two by four tiles, right? So here it is, like that, okay? And I'll bring my uh, line tool back here and I'll just click from here. Actually, let me just click once, bring the line and boom, there's this one and so on and so on. And you'll go, well, you know what? How do I figure out that at this point it's two by four? Simply, you take the same approach, but you double your squares. And you'll see what I mean by that momentarily. Okay, same thing. Go diagonal from one corner to the other. Right? Cool. So now watch this. Get my B for brush tool. So this, norm, let me press B. Make a new layer above this. Bam, done. Okay. So these notches would right now be 2x2. Two two, okay? However, what we want to do is have 2x4, right? So what I'll do is I'll take, okay, so maybe I'll start here. I'll take every second one. And you'll see what's going to happen in a second. Watch this. Click here, here, across, come down here. You'll see automatically that my proportions are different already. Okay? Like that. And then uh, get my mouse tool. And you'll see that from here to there, boom, one line. Here to there, another line. Again, we're working on the ceiling tile now, guys. It's like the same thing you're seeing in the classroom as we speak. Okay, here, bam, and here. Hold that, right there. Now I'll just darken this up. Really, it's not hard to make curves up here or cut out. So this is your ceiling tile. So what I would do in this situation, let's say I, uh, let's get the dropper here, bam, and then get my magnetic lasso tool. You'll see that color this in. Actually, let's change the color for a second go somewhere else. Better contrast is always better. Okay, so G, boom. Command D. Okay, so I'll get my lasso tool back. Let's do another one over here. Quickly, boom. Oh boy. Lasso. Come on, don't let me down. Okay, clearly there's a delay here. Okay, cool. So roughly this is it. Okay, just click on it, boom, one more time. There it is, Command D, and then B for brush, so you get what's happening here. Okay, I'm hoping for something like this from you guys. Now, I'm um, just gonna add one more thing, a little bonus here. Let's say there was a, I'm just gonna delete that part, and let's say, and um, in here. I'm just gonna come in here now, and let's say there was a pocket of some kind, right? Remember this, my rules and perspective? Let's say, look at that. Look what I'm about to create here, okay? Like that, here. Okay, so as soon as I do this, what's happening is this whole area is having its own surface, right? Look at that. Okay, back to brush. Make my brush a little bigger, and I'm just gonna, oops, hold shift, of course, and 
you'll see where I'm getting to right now. So this will be like some kind of a detail on the ceiling. So let me just take this out for a sec. E for erase, of course. There we go. I'm adding a lot of stuff here because I'm trying to knock a number of things within this tutorial. So watch here. Click here. Come this way. Boom. So now this is becoming a pocket up in the ceiling, right? So I'll get my brush tool again, B for brush. You'll see. Just lighten this up a bit. Zoom in here, and you'll see now that in here, B for brush, you need a new layer, of course. There you go. So all this, I have it on multiply, that's why you're getting this, this kind of effect right now. See? So you can see now we have an opening in here. If I get my last old tool quickly, pop another color in here, you'll see like there's a cavity in the ceiling, for example. Okay. So oops. man. Things are just going slow today, folks. That's okay. We're on. Here we go. Click again. One, two, three, four, and then close the loop. There we go. Then I can bring another color, and let's say something like that, G for paint, and you can see what I've done. See? That looks pretty cool, right? And Command-D to deselect, and then let me just get rid of the view, the grid here, and see things easier. Okay, we just did a lot of stuff in a short period of time, guys. We're close to 12 minutes. Okay, so for you guys, you all know how to create uh, window openings, door openings door frames and then window frames and moving on we'll get into ceiling tile and then floor and then the last thing I'll do is I'll add a few objects for you guys and we'll go from there okay this is good enough for now I think I'll say bellion out it's uh, 12 minutes okay take care thank you